sir. Yes, Can I ask you some questions? Sure. So I'm wondering, what are you going to the town offices for? Register the car. Oh, do you, are, you, are you registered to vote? No, no, I'm not. Uh, why not? Yeah, I figured it was too late. Too late? It's never too late to register to vote. She's right. It's never too late to register to vote. You can register at the town offices up until 10 days before any election. And also watch your newspaper and post things at the town offices for our next session. And you can also come and register voters with the supervisors of the checklist. And when all else fails, New Hampshire has same-day voter registration, so you can always register at the polls. Excuse me, sir. How are you doing today? Uh, pretty good. Hey, did you vote today? I'm, I'm from the local newspaper. I'm wondering if you voted today. Oh, geez. Is that today? It is, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't. I had to repack the axle bearings on my trailer. We were coming back from Tamworth camping, and, well, you know, i got to get that done because we go up to Eastport every year. You ever been up to Eastport? I haven't been oh, up to Oh, we Eastport. go up there every year for the Vacant Building Festival. It's quite fun. Me and my wife. The Vacant so, Building Festival? Yeah, so i got to get done that? with them wheel bearings. Oh, they, they just... Uh, do something with all their mills developers coming in and doing stuff. They have some bands and stuff, you know. I used to play with the uh, Piscataqua River Boys Quartet Bluegrass Band once in a while, and there's too many guys in that, so now I'm with the uh, Extra Falls Trio. We play with them. And what instrument do you play? Oh, banjo and guitar. But so, yeah, and after, you know, after I packed them wheel bearings, I was actually looking right here at some want ads, and I was gonna go over to the music shop, get some banjo strings. But, you know, I was over there, and it, it's much easier to go to this one in that one in Portsmouth. The traffic's just terrible over there. I don't know why people even, I can't imagine having to commute over there every day. Yeah, so after I'm going to the music store, I got to go over to the vet's office, because my, uh, my wife's cat, a little Siamese, Meow Say Tongue, we got to take him over to the vet, because a little postal wagon run him over yesterday. I got to pick him up over there and take care of that. And then uh, well, we was watching TV last night, and they had that thing about that meat recall. So I got to take the hamburger. I yelled into the wife. I said, "What's the date on that hamburger, Jenny?" And it matched up. So I got to I got to go over to over to Hannaford's and uh, get rid of that meat. Get my money back on that. Well, you know, I also got to get the ice shack out. It's melting, coming up soon. So last year that was pretty much a wash. Hardly had any ice out there at all. We were just noodling for eels off the dock. So now I gotta get the, I guess I better, you know, get the little wood stove I got on the ice shack ready out there. And, you know, I gotta break all the leaves into the gully behind the house. And, you know, mother helps me with uh, chopping the wood. She's pretty sharp with that. So, you know, I gotta get home and do all that before I even think about going to boat. Yeah, well, hunting season just started. So, you know, I gotta get up to camp and uh, bring some of the wood Ginny's chopping up there and we'll get that all set up. You know, by the time I drive up to camp and back, I, I doubt I'd have time to even register to vote. I, I might be registered. I don't know. You know what? I might have actually voted absentee. I don't remember. Hey, can I ask you some questions? I'm from the local newspaper. All right. Um, are you going to vote this year? Well, I was going to vote, but then I don't know any of the people on the ballot, and I just don't understand the issues. That's okay. You can still vote, and you can educate yourself by going online, talking to friends. There's still time, even the day of the voting. The voting, as you well know, <laughs> is important. I'll have to check the internet and look at the issues there. Good for you! Hey guys, can I ask you some questions for the newspaper? Okay. Are you guys here to register to vote? I'm 12, and he's 10. Yeah. I don't understand what you could possibly have written down on this. <laughs> Hi, excuse me. Can I ask you some questions for the newspaper? Sure. Uh, are you registered to vote? Why would I be registered to vote? One vote never mattered. Don't worry, good citizens of Exeter. Why allow any evildoer to make you think that your vote doesn't matter? Just think of all the citizens around the world, and even in this country, that have fought for the right to vote. Voting is the cornerstone of our democracy. What they said. Wow, that makes a lot of sense. Thanks for changing my mind.
hungry. Look, an unregistered voter. Oh, God. We're never going to get lunch. <laughs> Good citizens of Exeter, thank you for watching our second PSA on the super checks and registering to vote. My name is Susan Gorman. I'm Yvonne Zinicola. And I'm Vicki Novoycek. And we are the supervisors of the checklist here in Exeter, which means we're in charge of everything that has to do with voting here in Exeter. Registering to vote, the voter rolls, and helping to conduct the elections. And the most important thing that we want to encourage you to do is get registered, if at all possible, before November 8th, which is the election, the big one. So feel free to please stop in at the Exeter Town offices and meet with the town clerks to register to vote. All the instructions on what you need in order to register to vote is located on their website, www.exeternh.gov. You can also um, receive instructions on absentee ballots there if you're unable to actually make the live election. Please also do not forget that if you cannot register before the election, you're more than welcome to please come and join us at the election and register to vote. We're just encouraging everybody to come out and register early so you can avoid the lines and have a smooth election process. We'll be here on uh, Saturday, October 29th from 11 to 11.30 registering voters. And anytime up until then, you can register at the town clerk's counter. After October 29th, there is a 10-day blackout period and so if you don't make it by October 29th, don't worry. As Vicki said, we'll be there to help you register and to exercise your right to vote on Election Day. And as you well know, excuses are like belly buttons. Everybody has one. But be a good citizen. You can have a belly button, but don't have an excuse. Just vote. Get out and vote, everyone. Thank you. It's important.